Hi, my name is Allie, and today I'm going to be, talk be talking about should someone that bullies other people be removed or expelled from a school or school system. Now, the three topics that I'm going to be discussing today are when someone is being bullied, a lot of the times they do not ask for help because they have lost their self-confidence. The second is that a lot of the times when someone is being bullied in school, they stop putting an effort into their homework or everyday activities. And lastly, I'm going to cover that a lot of the times when someone is being bullied, they usually drop out of school just because they're trying to find an escape from being bullied. Now, as college students, a lot of the times we have experienced at some point in our life, someone being bullied or someone bullied us. This could be a coworker, a someone that you went to school with, or even a family member. It's just anyone that pushed you down in any way. Now, to start off with the first topic, I'm going to discuss some of the things that a lot of the times people that are being bullied do. So, a lot of the times someone that is being bullied is because a bully is usually jealous or wants something that they're not getting. This could be attention, this could be better grades, this could be anything. Now, when someone's being bullied, a lot of the times when they're struggling in a topic or subject or class or anything, they tend to not ask for help. And the reasoning for this is because one, they've lost their confidence from constantly being told they are dumb or whatever the case may be, but also they feel that they're not worthy of getting help because they're constantly told by their bully that they're not. Now, according to the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, it talks about how people who are being bullied lose their self-confidence because they are constantly tormented or told that they're not worth it. Now, the second topic that I'm going to discuss is how a lot of the times that when someone is being bullied, they stop putting an effort into their homework or schoolwork or any day-to-day -day activities. So a lot of the times, someone that is being bullied will become more quiet or will stop trying as hard on their homework. They could have been a straight A student and now they're making C's or B's or even D's here and there. Now, I have experienced this whenever I was bullied in high school by this one girl throughout the four, the four years of high school. I started to distance myself from other people because I felt that I wasn't worthy enough or that I wasn't going to fit in or they weren't going to like me. Now, according to the Psychology Today, written by Izzy Kalman, he talks about how a lot of the times the reason people stop putting in effort because they are constantly told that they are not smart enough. So this, he uses a scenario to show how this works. A lot of the times when you teach a dog, you're constantly giving them treats to do a trick. This could be sitting. And at first they're not going to do it but you constantly do it over and over and they eventually will learn that they see a treat, they sit. And with bullying, that is the same way. So when someone is not putting in the effort because they were constantly told that they're too stupid or they're not smart enough or they're not worth it, they're going to constantly hear that and start to eventually believe it. Now, lastly, the last topic that I'm going to talk about is how high school students, well not high school students, anyone in general that has been bullied, but more particularly high school students, will eventually drop out of school. Now according to the futurity.com or article, it talks about the data that shows and has been collected over the years in different um, schools that have had high rates of bullying usually always end up having a higher rate of dropouts. Now, most of the time, the people that do drop out of high school are people who have been or are being bullied. And a lot of the times they'll tell you the reason they're dropping out is because 
of education, work, or because they want to escape their bully and how they are being treated on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, in conclusion of all of this, to gather all of the points that I've put out there, should a person that bullies someone be suspended or expelled or removed from a school? Yes, because all of these scenarios that have went together in the end impact someone's education and it's not fair for them to have to suffer every single day of being bullied and having to live in a fear of what's going to happen today if their bullies there and have to compromise their education and their future for someone that is rude to them or constantly picking on them. Thank you.